Okay, I wanted to show you how to get Doxygen documentation with your QT project, Qt project. Um, so the first thing is to go to this URL. Uh, this has the binaries for Doxygen as well as an explanation of the best way to do this. So the first thing you want to do is download the binaries that correspond to your version of Qt. And if you don't know what your Qt version is, um, you can go into help and about Qt Creator and you can say I have Qt Creator 3.1.2 um, and it's based on 5.3.1 etc. Um, so back here uh, I downloaded, downloaded the, the these binaries for 3.1.x um, then you need to come down here and extract them to this path. So these binaries will come in a zipped folder, um, extract them to this path, and uh, you're good to go there. So there's another step. You can also go to this URL. It gives you a few more steps to do. It's very easy to do. The next step is to restart Qt Creator. Um, and then you need to download. You need to actually download Doxygen. Let's open this in a new tab. Um, so you'll just go to the downloads, um, go through all that stuff, and download Doxygen. Once you get that done, you will have uh, Doxygen in Qt once it's restarted. So if I go into Tools and Options, you can see I have this Doxygen option over on the right side. Um, you'll need, you may need to give it the correct path to these two exe files. These are minor located and Qt found those automatically for me. It may not do the same for you. Uh, once you have those, you're ready to go. So in tools, you notice you have this Doxygen option now and you can use the create document, Doxygen documentation. So let's go through a little bit of that right now. So let's say I want to document this class we're going to start a comment, we use the exclamation point to create the documentation and it gives us this brief uh, explanation uh, and we'll just leave that, the my class class and let's make a function here void function does something and it takes an integer parameter. Uh, we want to document this. So what we're going to do is we're going to say this function does something. And this parameter integer to do something with. Okay, so I've got some documentation here for my class. Now let's go into Doxygen. Let's edit our Doxy file. And so here I can change my project name. I want to call this my class documentation. And you can give it a synopsis and a version or ID. Um, next, next, next. So HTML will give you the web page outputs. LaTeX will give you the uh, PDF outputs. And you can you can play around with these if you'd like to. Then when you go to File, and I'm just going to hit Save. I can close that. And now I'm going to go back into Doxygen and let's build our documentation. So you can see here it just built the documentation and now what I need to do is I need to go into where I started my Qt project. You see I have these two folders now, HTML and LaTeX. La and if I go into HTML and double click the annotated you can see it brings up the My Class documentation. Um, 
the main page. I haven't filled that out yet. Here's the classes. So if I click on my class, um, you can see I have my class.h and our um, our function hasn't been documented yet. So I am going to show you how to do that. Okay, uh, I forgot one simple thing. In order to have the documentation work, we first have to build our project. So if we build our project, and then go back to Tools and Doxygen, and build our Doxygen documentation, uh, we'll get the all good signal. And now we can go back into our folder. So we're just in our Cube Project folder, HTML, and double click our annotated HTML. And now we see we have the description, the My Class class, which we put there. And if we click on this class, we have our function. Our void function, function does something that takes an integer parameter. Um, we can click more, and it comes down here and says this function does something, and we have an integer to do something with. Um, right here. Uh, there's much more you can do with this. This is just kind of a basic introduction to get you started. Uh, good luck with everything and hope you can figure it out.